Hey Foo fam, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be installing these Tiana Passion Twists in my hair. This is a crocheted style, just so you guys know, but this is what the packaging looks like. It comes with all these packs of hair with rubber bands and this card. So I'm also gonna be using the needle, the crochet needle that they sent me, and this is the hair. It's very jumpy, very springy, and very dark. This is in the color 1B, and it is 12 inches long. The very first thing I have to do is get my hair ready. My hair was in big twists overnight after I washed it so that's why it looks like that but I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out of these twists and get it ready by parting it so I'm gonna do a middle part but from one ear to the other because that's the pattern I want my cornrows to be whenever I am doing cornrows for crochets my patterns are a bit weird I find that whenever I use these patterns it works best for me so I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair and over here I want a smaller part around my sideburn area just so I could have some mobility with the crochet once I install it but the very first thing I'm gonna do is wet my hair and then moisturize it with my moisturizer it's actually a moisturizing pomade I'm trying it out for the first time but rub that ends around my hair detangle of course and after that I'm just gonna be cornrowing and showing you guys how I do it By the way, my parts are never as clean as they could be because I prefer it to be that way. Whenever I have extremely clean parts, sometimes it's easier to see the gaps in my crochet. So I like for my roots to look a little bit darker, you get me? So whenever there are gaps in my crochets, it's harder to see it. But whenever I get to the top or the front of my hair, I like to do clean parting because this is the part that people are gonna see. So if I know I wanna work my hair in a middle part or a side part, I make sure whichever part that is, is really clean, which is why I'm going in with a pig as well. But yeah, this is me just braiding down my hair. If you guys want a more detailed tutorial or a different braid pattern for your crochets, let me know because I do have more of these videos coming. But this is how I braid down my hair for most of my crochets. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and part another section going from one ear to the other in the middle of my hair. And then I have all of my braids done, as you guys can see. So these top braids, I wanna crisscross them just so there isn't like a huge hole in the middle of my head. So that crisscross just separates the middle part towards the back of your hair, if you get me. If you don't get that, wash that part over again, but it makes sense, I promise. So I'm just gonna be braiding down the braids so there aren't any loose ends and it's easier for me to put it in the braids in the back. So overall i'm gonna combine every braid together to become one and when i get towards the end i am gonna be crocheting those braids down so just watch and learn if you guys have any questions just ask me down below All right. 
right, so it's time for me to finally install the hair, which is the most exciting part. So the loop and these crochets are insane because you can make them as big as you want. And I know you guys see the quality, but this hair is from Toyo Tress and this is their Tiana Passion Twist in the color 1B and in the length 12 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to put it on. You just put your hook through your braid and grab it with the big loop. And that loop is huge, y'all, which is a big plus for whenever you're doing a crochet hairstyle. But this is what it looks like. That was so easy, so simple. And I love the fact that all of these twists are very bouncy and all in the same quality. So I really appreciated that. But if you guys want to get your Toyo Tress Passion Twist now, they're going to be linked down below. And don't forget, y'all, it is summertime. It is hot outside. So these short Passion Twists are the move. Y'all, this is the result. Look at how pretty this hair is. It frames my face perfectly. It is the perfect length and the perfect color for me, y'all. Honestly, I am summer ready. I love it whenever I feel pretty like this, y'all. But if you're interested in getting yourself some Toyo Tress Passion Swiss hair, I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. And also, don't forget, it is summertime, it's hot. So if I were you, I'd go ahead and grab them. But thank you so much to Toyo Tress for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't go anywhere yet because, oh, y'all, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> but don't go anywhere because I am gonna do my edges. I don't have to do anything too crazy since this is the very first day of my style. It already looks good, but this is my edges, y'all. This is the style I decided to do for that day. It's so cute, y'all. I'm in love. But thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. We are on a road to 50K subscribers. I'm gonna see you guys in my next one. Bye. Love you.